Have you ever felt like there's a battle going on anytime you want to go to the gym or anytime you want to start that project you said you were going to work on or anytime as an introvert you want to go out because you want to meet people and stop being single where it's like I'm, I, like, I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to do it. And then like an hour before you, you feel the sluggishness. You feel the molasses you're going through. You're like, I, I said I was going to go to the gym just one more episode of the show and then I'm going to go. Well, this internal battle, something I call the three second rule, that's one of my most popular videos to this day, is all about the battle between your mind and your heart. Now in this video, I wanna share a little bit about how you can stop battling yourself and sabotaging yourself and start getting better results. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master of the Day. Now, I've included a free goal setting worksheet. It's in the description box there below. This is really well catered to, if you feel yourself struggling to not only set your goals, what to set, how to achieve them, what to do, how to actually go through my specific process for goal setting. So click the first link in the description box there below. It's gonna bring you to a little email course on how to set and achieve goals. So that's the first link in the description box there below. So what we're really talking about in my experience when it comes to the inner battle, because how could there really be an inner battle, right? If you think about children, you think about animals, when they have to poop, they go and poop. When they have to eat, they go and eat. And when they wanna cry, they cry. When they wanna sleep, they sleep. When they wanna yell, they yell. You know, like they live these very pure and direct experiences. They're, it's supremely uncomplicated. And it's such a relief to adults who are always reminiscing over like, ah, oh, like the simple days when I was a kid, all I had to do is poop, eat, and show up at school. And my performance didn't matter. But really, what we're talking about is the heart versus the mind. Because animals and children are all instinctual. They just react, right? They react and as kids become older and more conscious and more self-aware, then they begin to change the ways they act. But really, when it comes to, I'm sitting on the couch, I don't want to go to the gym, I don't want to do anything even though I know I should. The mind is saying, you got to do this, John, because you're getting fat, you're getting chunky. And then your body... It's like, I'm so tired. I don't want to do anything. I just want to eat. Right? So you have the mind that's like, this is the goal directed. This is the focus part of the human. And then the body's like, Meh. the body's like an 85 year old dude. And the mind is like the 18 year old CrossFitter. And they're always battling like this. So what do you do when you feel this kind of conflict? You could just as easily say it's the same with your business where there's these things that you say you want. You say you want to improve your life and you probably genuinely do. But what, what is that thing where as soon as it comes to doing it, you can't get yourself to do it? With finances, it's the exact same thing, right? You have the heart, which is the little kid that's like, I want to just spend money. Like, I've got $20, I'm going to spend $20. And the mind's like, I have to prepare for the future. I have debt I have to pay off. I have my rent. How are these all going to come together? And so you have the heart-mind battle there. You even have it in dating, where it's like, do I just be myself? That's the heart. It's pure, straight, direct. I'm just going to be myself. And if people love me, great. If they don't, it sucks for them. And the mind's like, well, that's dumb. What if I'm messy? What if I'm this, some aspects of myself that are bad habits? What if I do that annoying thing that my mom or dad does that pisses everyone else off just like it pisses me off, right? Again, you have the heart versus the mind. And what I'm suggesting is that to overcome the inner battle is not actually to do anything. It's just to observe that when we make these decisions and when we want to improve things about ourselves, there is that battle of the heart versus the mind. And depending on what you're working on, whether it's fitness or a business or dating, to just draw two buckets and say, you know, hey, my goal is to pay off my student debt. My heart says, I want to go out and drink with my friends every weekend. And I spend 50 to to $100 every time at the bar. My mind says, you're being a dumbass, Jimmy because you're dropping $200, $300 a month that could be going towards your student debt and they would pay it off in five years. It says with dating, I just want to be myself. And if people don't like that, sucks for them. And then the mind says, well, okay, yeah, that's partly true, but why don't I also, I need to improve on my style. I need to prove on not being so nervous around people. I need to prove on being a little bit more extroverted. And so with each of your goals, each of the things where you feel that dynamic tension, you can plot out what's going on with the heart, the intuition, the kid, the animal, 
And then what's going on with the mind? What is the mind saying? Because then you can become aware of the two voices, why there's that dynamic tension. And then from, you know, from there, you can make a little bit of a better decision. Which one do I think is going to help me reach my goals in the best way possible for me? Which may mean all mind. It may mean all heart. But at least you're aware of the two wolves that are battling inside of you because they each have their own agenda. You know, usually the heart wants you to feel good. But maybe feeling good is eating a donut every day, five times a day. That's not going to work very long. So we need to figure out what's going on with this wolf, what's going on with that wolf. So I hope that helps reflect on a little bit about why we feel this tension so much. Because there's what we want to do, what we feel, and then there's what we know we need to do to improve ourselves or live a better life. And that dynamic tension often doesn't go away in life, but at least if there's some awareness, it can help provide that kind of insight into why I feel this way constantly. So again, don't forget, I've included the goal setting worksheet there in the description box below. It'll give you a free beginner journaling. It's a prompt that you can either open on your computer or print out. And then a free beginner journaling email course, or excuse me, a goal setting course. And again, that's the first link there below. You'll also get my last two videos right here and right here.